Okay, I think I'm rolling. I'm not sure. This is a new camera to me, so uh, pardon the shaky picture. This is the K31. I've got it set up on my uh, rifle stand. I, uh, I forgot to bring the length of twine that I was going to use as a remote trigger, so I had to improvise. I had a piece of upholstery fabric in the back of the truck, so I cut it into long strips with my pocket knife, and I will be using that as my remote trigger getting ready to load. I'll be starting off with my lower power loads uh, just to see how it reacts and then uh, I'll use the full power loads. Uh, pardon the choppy video but here we go. Well, it didn't explode, that's a good sign. But, I'm feeling... There's really no pressure signs that I can see. I just got a really tight head space. I think I'm gonna have to take care of that. Um, did you notice how well the empty ejected out of the chamber? Well. That just goes to show that everything you read on the internet is not true about the K31. I'm going to do one more low power and then we'll switch over to high power. intricate angles my ass. This thing ejects perfectly. Okay, I'm going to chamber a couple of full power loads, fire them off, see how it works, and then I'm going to install my suppressor and fire the rest of the cartridges suppressed. By the way, I need to tell you that when you look at this video, you see the rifle recoiling tremendously. That's not necessarily the recoil of the rifle. That's me pulling on this this uh, remote trigger length of cord coupled together with the recoil, which makes it look like it's recoiling a whole lot harder than it really is. I, could, I wish I could show you a close-up of the brass. It, there, there appears to be a little bit of flattening on these higher power loads compared to the other ones, but it's really nothing out of the ordinary from what I can tell. Yeah, man. 
I think that's a good sign. I'm gonna put the suppressor on and and then uh, I'll be back. lower powder charge cartridges they sound just like a 22 rifle and the rest, I can't get the leverage I need to eject the cartridges, so I'm going to get brave and fire the last couple of rounds at the shoulder. Holy cow, that one went... I don't want to lose my brass. These are my last two cartridges. I'll fire them from my shoulder with the suppressor in place. Man, I'm not kidding. Those empties eject about six feet up in the air above your head. There you have it, living proof that a K31 can be rebarreled and rechambered by a home gunsmith. As long as you take your time and be meticulous about it, it'll work.